Hey guys, uh, I'm Jacob, and as you probably hopefully know, you're watching The Prepper's Bunker Outdoors. Uh, today, I want to talk to you a little bit late about something from Blade Show, that is the Zero Tolerance 0223. Uh, and it's a knife that I held, I liked, and hand and first I was super excited about. Um... It's supposed to be inspired by the uh, Mark II fighting knife, most commonly referred to as the K-Bar. Uh, and, uh, and I saw the resemblance, and I got it, and I saw it a few days before Blade, and I thought it was kind of exciting. And unlike most ZTs and other stuff, it has not aged well for me. Uh, and I'll tell you why. I like Bowie's. I like the shape of it. I like the size of it. I like the colors. I am uh, into all of that. Uh, the problem is the design with the completely milled out fuller and the other uh, holes drilled along the grind lines or the plunge line on the blade. Uh, scream gas station knife. And here's the thing. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about strength. Um, you know, people are like, well, the hole in the blade really isn't that big of a deal. I know this other company called Spyderco that's been doing it a long time and it seems fine. Well, uh, the difference is the Spyderco's hole is a perfect circle and does not have jimping on top of it. The 0223 uh, is a oblong or an oval or whatever and has jimping right on top of it. And jimping is a stress point. Just to add real quick, that jimping is square. Square bottom jimping? That's, uh, you, you can get away with that on a big, thick 5160 chopping knife on a pocket knife? Square edges create stress fractures or worse. They are a focal point of stress. They have to be rounded. I, we, we figured this out with the doggone DC-10 plane. Uh, guaranteed to go down, as the blood gang would say. Uh, the bloodhound gang. Uh, I'm shocked. Like, what? Square jimping? This is so bad, somebody needs to be fired. ZT, you're making a mistake. And that hole is a stress point, and it's not very thick in between the two. So, Zero Tolerance's thing has always been built like a tank. Tough as hell. You know, whatever. And that's not a good idea. <laughs> That is not tough. Will it be tough enough? Probably, but it's not within what they're supposed to be. And then the holes drilled along the plunge line, that's just completely... I don't understand that at all. I imagine uh, it could take very little to go wrong for you to snap the blade off through those holes by the plunge line and right up through the top of the blade. Um, and that's not in itself the problem, actually, believe it or not. Uh, the problem is when I buy what should be a premium production knife from Spyderco or Zero Tolerance, what makes it premium is premium materials uh, and a premium design. Uh... And a lack of gimmicks. And the the thing is, you know, your really nice custom makers, they can do some gimmicky stuff because a lot of their stuff is an art form. But the zero tolerance built for use, built for military, built like a tank, it does not jive with what essentially adds up to be and look like a gas station knife. <laughs> So there's this weird kind of paradox of useless features that are meant to look cool and be aesthetically pleasing 
that attracts extremely high dollar custom knives that are works of art and bottom dollar junk that sells for a couple of bucks to people who are not educated on what they're buying at the gas station. And nowhere in between should be zero tolerance. I think that I'm sure it'll probably sell pretty well, but I think it's the wrong direction to go in. Uh, if they were going to go for the whole military theme, uh, it should have been the 556, five, which I think is already taken. But, uh, you know, being that it's the K bar, it really should be the 0762 or 762X51, especially if it's going to be going back to World War II. And uh, 223 doesn't make sense. It's essentially the same caliber as 5.56, which is what our military uses, but loaded uh, to civilian standards for hunting. So, like, I get what they're trying to do, but the, the whole thing kind of looks like a bad idea. Kind of like, you know, you see Hollywood do all this stuff, and you can see what they're going for, but whoever was in charge clearly just didn't know anything about guns, combat, tactics gear didn't know anything about all of that they're just looking for something that sounds cool that's kind of at this point how i feel about the zero tolerance zero two two three uh so you know if you feel different let me know in the comment section below um maybe i changed your mind and you agree share the video um if you just uh hate the video give me a thumbs down just whatever uh i look forward to talking to you guys in the se comment section below uh, please subscribe, and uh, uh, I hope that you have a blessed day. Thank you for watching.